Assalamu alaikum python developers hope you all fine so in this video tutorial we will learn how to properly use the count method of python tuple with the help of multiple python code examples so what is the count method of python tuple this method is used to return the number of times a specific item is used or appeared inside python tuple for example if an instance 5 is used three times inside tuple then the count method will return three if this integer five is passed to it as an argument so this is a syntax of python tuple as you can see here uh, this uh, method takes one argument and that is the value which is item of a tuple it returns an integer which specifies the number of items uh, sorry the number of times this item is appeared inside python tuple so we have created uh, four examples for you and I don't want to write it uh, in front of you because it will take a lot of time and this it, this will just make the video lengthy so you can just uh, see the code this is a simple example just to clear this concept okay so this example one count specific item inside python tuple this is how it's done yes we have created a simple python tuple of integers and uh, we also have a floating point it's just for demonstration so this is a python tuple and now this is how we do it the name of the tuple dot count method and two we have passed two and let's see what output it gives us because uh, this specify that we want to see how many times this two has occurred inside this python tuple let's now run it and see in the output three uh, this was the previous uh, output so just leave it this three okay so let's count if this two is really occurred three times in this tuple or not one uh, two and three yes the output is 100 percent correct two it has occurred three times in this tuple so this is how we do it let's use a python list inside tuple as well like this okay let's comment the first code and this is okay this is a tuple it also it has a list as well and now we will and you can see that this two is present inside the list as well we will again search for this two okay and let's now see how many times uh, the output is okay let's run it and see three times okay so first one two two and two as you can see that there are two uh, two has occurred four times in this tuple but uh, this shows three why it's because this list is entirely one item okay so this in for this tuple this is one item this is not two or five this is a complete list okay so if we just use two still it won't work i think we can just run it just to show you okay you can see that three okay so it won't work like this okay if this is outside this list then it will show four okay let's now remove this list and run it again yes as you can see here now this two is single item and one two three four four is returned so this is how we do it in example two count lists and tuple inside python tuple so in this example two we can pass list or tuple inside count method to get the number of times they are appeared inside python tuple so having some values of course let's now comment this example too and you can see that we have a tuple and we have passed this nested list as you can see here 2525 there are two items of uh, the same there are two lists of same items and we also have tuple and uh, other tuple as well let's now pass a list to it okay we have passed the same list 25 and uh, let's now see and also we have passed a tuple 5.4 comma 2 okay so this is a tuple this is a list we can pass list and tuple 
to this count method as well let's now write and see what we get yes two and one and now you can see that this list this list has occurred two times okay two five two five if we change the value then it will this two will be transformed into one because two or five just uh, occur one time yes you can see that this so this uh, depends on the items and the list of course and as you can see here this tuple is occurred one time which means 5.4 comma 2 these two items has occurred just once you can see that uh, there is another tuple but uh, the items are different 5 and 7 just okay so this is how we can pass a list or uh, tuple to this count method as well let's now see count method return value what this count method will return let's uncomment this one oops sorry yes okay so this is our tuple items i think we have oops we have passed list to it sorry for that tuple item dot count okay count method return value okay so this is a tuple item and uh, we will be using this count method and then we can pass a string we can pass a string to it as well okay so this is a string white this is called white 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 uh, the output should be three and we have uh, the output of this count method or uh, the returning value of this count method will be stored in this returned value and uh, let's now run it and see what we get yes as you can see here three so this white has uh, this white string has occurred three times in this tuple and uh, the value is returned so in this way we can make sure that uh, the value that the number of times uh, that any specific item that we pass to this count method as an argument is returned from uh, using this method okay let's comment this one and specify item not found in double okay so in this example view specify item but the item will be not present in this tuple let's now see how to do it okay so sorry again i don't know what i'm doing yes so this is tuple this is how we represent tuple the previous one was a list okay so this is a list okay so this is how we define a list and uh, we have to specify it here as well so this is the list okay and this is a tuple okay so now uh, we have passed this orange string to it and let's see if you white green blue we don't have orange here but we still have passed this orange string to this tuple and let's now see what it gives us zero okay so this means that if the specified string or item that we pass to this count method as an argument is not found in that speci uh, specific tuple then it will return zero which means the item is not present okay so this is how we can easily use python tuple count method okay so if you still have any doubts or uh, want to have a written article on it as well then i have specified i've written one as well uh, the link will be provided in the description thank you so much for watching this video allah hafiz